Hey guys, so today I want to share a new poem with you. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it and I want to dedicate it to all those people who feel that they may have been wronged by someone they loved at some point, um, especially if you thought they were your friend above everything else. So the poem is called Dear Ex-Lover. Dear ex-lover, who I once thought was my friend, and I guess that's how it always begins. You meet this dude, nothing special, but he seems all right. Has no real impact on you, so you keep living your life. But somehow your paths seem to keep crossing, and he seems nice. He has no kids, he has no wife. One day you decide to exchange numbers, and why not? You're looking for a friend to call a brother, because you always did get along with the opposite sex, even if sometimes it wasn't for the best. So you start texting late at night, talk about maybe one day going for a bite. You talk about your fears and your dreams, your likes and dislikes. You have a lot in, com in common, like you, you're both afraid of heights, you like dogs and riding bikes. So small conversations turn into infinite words and many calls, and everything starts pouring like a waterfall. Now you're texting every day and you say you love him, but just as a friend. But then this friend tells you you are pretty, and you have everything a man could possibly desire. That your body is like a flower, but you're built from fire. So you start to consider all the things that he has that you like, like his smile and his hair, and his personality that's so bright. The more you think about these things, the harder you fall. And suddenly a guy who couldn't be more than average has it all. Because he makes you laugh and that's all that really matters, regardless of what may happen after. So you start chasing a guy you never wanted and become sad when he says he's not attractive. But he keeps texting you and calling you pretty names. So you think maybe he's not playing games. You get closer and closer every night and things just seem to ignite. He says he needs your help and of course you're there. But a night of help suddenly turns into massages and everything collapses. Of course, we're talking about the invisible walls and the clothes that were held so tight now begin to fall. In an instant, you give everything away, trusting who you call your best friend. And why not? Friends are supposed to be there till the end, but the night ends and so does everything else. Because I'll, although you never noticed, this boy only ever thought of himself. Then the texts slowly start becoming less and less, leaving in their place a state of regret. The boy who once called you beautiful can no longer be found. And for some stupid reason, you're astound. As if he didn't show signs, he had no intention of sticking around. But somehow, it's his fault that you believe the words of a clown. And that now you walk around with a constant frown. See, he was just a boy doing the things boys do. And just because you lie to yourself doesn't mean that his actions weren't true. They were as true as they could be for a boy never looking to get attached. Just have some fun and forget everything in the aftermath. He was a boy looking for someone with who he could have fun. And now you're mad because he won. I hope you guys enjoyed the poem and keep, um, you know, posted for more, um, poetry.